Now to this breaking news. A shooting broke out near a house party in Hacienda Heights. A man was killed and two women were rushed to the hospital and sheriff deputies have set up their command posts at a local high school there. That's where CBS 2's Cara Finstrom joins us live with the latest on this developing and breaking story. Cara, good morning. Good morning, DeMarco. We just spoke with one of the investigators. He tells us that it appears these shootings took place just outside of some kind of house party right after a fight or argument had broken out. And here's what he says uh, they know about the possible suspects. All we have right now is a, a dark sedan with possibly two to three males. Uh, the suspects were at some point in the car, but we don't believe, we don't know if they shot from the car or from outside of the car. We recorded this video earlier this morning near where those shootings took place. The sheriff's department says one man in his 30s was shot and killed. Two women who were in their 20s were also shot. They believe the shootings took place just outside of a house party again at about 1.30 this morning. Uh, they say the man and one of the women were shot in one spot. The other woman was wounded about a block away. More than 30 witnesses were reportedly there, so investigators have been busy this morning talking with many of them. One neighbor we spoke with says an Airbnb house uh, has been hosting regular late-night parties, so the party wasn't surprising. The violence was. Jasmine DeMarco, we can tell you that uh, neighbors reported hearing about 20 gunshots, uh, and we heard from police that they believe at least one handgun was involved, but there may have been more than one shooter. So again, they're looking for all of that. Also want to point out that there was a shooting here that investigators believe was unrelated over the weekend. That involved three teenagers at another house party not far away. So neighbors here on alert, they're saying they hope they can find out a little bit more from the sheriff's department throughout the day as to what took place here early this morning.